The European Space Agency, ESA, is now preparing the long-expected launch of a new METOP satellite. This satellite will be launched aboard a Soyuz from the Russian spaceport of Baikonur. METOP is Europe's operational meteorological satellite in polar orbit and consists of three identical successive satellites. Now that METOP A has exceeded its expected lifetime of five years, ESA and UMETSAT, the European Organization for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites, have decided to launch the second satellite, METOP B. In this way, UMETSAT can ensure continuity in delivering key data and services to the meteorological community. METOP B is particularly important to provide continuity of this data. This data has the largest single impact into the weather forecasting system. So it's very important that we maintain this capability and for climate purposes it's very important that we maintain a continuous record in time. With the launch of METOP B, ESA and UMETSAT want to ensure that the way climate and weather are observed remain as reliable as they are today, as the METOP series has brought about a new era in the world of numerical weather prediction. METOP can be used to make forecasts ranging from a few hours up to 10 days. METOP satellites are important for a couple of reasons. The first is the major contribution in the improvement of numerical weather prediction. The second is the contribution to long-term climate data monitoring because we, we get with the 14 years of operations uh, the long-term data series we need. And has provided as well uh, major contributions to environmental monitoring through the retrieval of trace gases like ozone, ozone monitoring over a long time with the GOMI instrument. This is an instrument that measures in the ultraviolet and visible part of the spectrum to retrieve information on the ozone structure in the atmosphere, which is particularly important for understanding the recovery of the ozone hole and also it's now used within weather forecasting itself. GOME, or the Global Ozone Monitoring Experiment, is one of the so-called heritage instruments aboard METOP. They have first been tested on scientific satellites and then become operational. This shows the usefulness of ESA's scientific missions and how they contribute to modern day life and to the development of operational space-based services. Many elements on METOP, the platform, the scatterometer, but also the ozone monitoring instrument, which has been demonstrated on IRIS-2, for the case of GOME, as it is called. And after this scientific verification, it has gone immediately into METOP as payload to be an operational payload. METOP B will fly, just like its predecessor, in collaboration with an American satellite in a low polar orbit. And it will send its data to the UMETSAT polar station in Svalbard, near the North Pole. It will provide meteorologists with very high-resolution data. The METOP B satellite will be operated by UMETSAT's control center in Darmstadt. From there, the data will be sent all over the world to be used by meteorologists and can be of crucial importance. Weather forecasting is important for everybody because weather impacts a large amount of society, economic aspects. It impacts every day's life. Satellites improve weather forecasting, so improved forecasting enables us to provide earlier warnings, better warnings, give us more time to warn. From space, METOP B will be a key tool for enhancing weather forecast and monitoring our environment thus contributing to improved safety in our modern society.